Alright guys, I'm going to see if this uh, capture is working. Let's see. Uh, so we're going to try new game. Let's go. I just need to check the record function. Turn the volume down a little bit like here. All right, yeah. So this is uh, Half-Life Absolute Zero. It is a fan-made mod that attempts to reproduce all of the original assets for the early prototypes of Half-Life. And it's in the Half-Life One engine. It is not in Source. I'm just gonna check. Recording again. I'll just play a bit here and see if it records. So see, like you've got these old first aid stations. You've got look at the scientist models. These scientist models are... Uh, if, if you're a Half-Life fan, you may have seen this from like concept art or early E3 demos or things like that from Half-Life. So, um, And the, the Black Mesa, I mean, it's got a similar layout, but a much different look. Look at this guy. There's a G-Man. Doing his thing, being uh, nefarious. Look at that valve, little valve poster in there. So I don't actually know much of the history about this. I just saw it pop up on Steam, and I was like, you know what? That looks awesome. And. Uh, yeah, okay, so one thing that I've always loved about Half-Life is the lighting. Look at the color of the lighting in here. It's not just the color of the lights, but look at how it reflects off these walls here, the color of the walls. Another thing that they get really well is this sort of uh, industrial lighting look, you know, the way fluorescent lights illuminate a space, the way these sort of uh, very industrial lights illuminate a space, very sort of like pallid and dead, but... There's some beauty to the artistry in what they were able to do in Half-Life back in the day. I mean, Black Mesa felt real and believable because it looked like the sort of crummy, you know, like when I go to, you know, into the local university in my town and going through some of those buildings. Because I live in the southwest as well, so like the way the lighting is, the way, how ugly the sort of fluorescent bulbs and sort of green and gray pallid lighting. Um... Half-Life really sold this well. Another thing I really liked about Half-Life was this texture work. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on this, but older games like this are sort of impressionistic, actually. Like in the impressionist art form. And impressionism works like this, so using sort of uh, splotches of color and pattern to create an image and your mind sort of fills in the blank. Um, I believe Van Gogh's Starry Night, which is a very famous one. Uh, most of Van Gogh's stuff is impressionistic. So basically your mind can extrapolate on what the textures are supposed to look like in what the, the image that they're trying to convey, the material they're trying to convey based on just sort of splotches of pattern and color. Like this, this is a terrible blurry muddy texture, but honestly back in the day, if I compare this to like photorealistic textures of concrete, sometimes these kind of textures help me get a feeling for what the artist was going for more than uh, super high-res textures. Because the problem with super high-res textures is they look very flat. So they look like a really good quality photo that's very flat. But these add some sort of depth and, and feel. And again, since they're impressionistic, I'm not expecting this to look like reality, but my mind is already painting a me mental picture, picture. I have a good idea of what this is supposed to represent in reality.
And so that's another thing Half-Life did really, really well. Actually, just most games of that era. Tomb Raider is another excellent example. So see how more cartoony everything is? It's a little weird looking. Much of the interactivity is still here. Oh, I just got done playing uh, Gloomwood I, using F for use. These are the old school HEV batteries. Also, this room obviously has a different uh, feel, and I don't believe you can open up any of the lockers besides your own, so. Yeah, look at this just ugly yellow lighting in here, but it's so realistic. I mean, I've seen places lit like this before. They did just a, such a great job of painting the lighting in this game. Look at how ridiculous this guy looks. He's like constantly screaming. Fruitopia? That's great. I, you know, I'm starting to think, was the Fruitopia? No, it was like a generic, but I think they were going for the general color scheme of that. In the original uh, Half-Life. Yeah, what do you want? This blew my mind back in the day. Just, oh god, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I am trapped. I hope once he moves, I'm not trapped anymore. Hello! This guy looks ridiculous. He looks psychotic, you know? Like, this does not look like an innocent scientist. This looks like some guy who's up to some serious stuff, you know? Oh, that's another thing I forgot you have to. I don't think he's gonna move. I think we're stuck here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Alright. Gonna load. That's another thing, it does no auto saves, so I'm just gonna do a new game. It's a fan-made mod. I would like to personally play through the whole thing, but I think I'm just going to do impressions right now. I don't I don't know if I want to like record a whole playthrough. Half-Life's like a 10 to 12 hour game. I don't want to do all that right now. Thank you. Also, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting some. Audio. glitches. Alright, so we're just going to go back down here. We do have to go in here, but I'm not messing with those guys again. They're going to trap me. So, just as in the other one, except uh, there's a less pomp and circumstance uh, to get your thing now. I think these might be the modders who worked on it. I don't know. But, uh, or this could be Valve back in the day. I don't know. I really don't know. Also, the suit was going to be red. It was actually gray, grayish green at one point, so. And then you just pick it up in here. The HUD is obviously different. What bothers me is that I don't think that there's energy. There's just health. But I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I see. All right, so the battery filled up a little bit. I see. I do not like that. Like, look at the lighting in this hallway. You know, just uh, colored lighting was a big deal, and also Valve made good use of it, you know. They could have made this, like, really, like, these all, like, like this could have been bright green or pink or so. you know, like, that was very popular back in the day, but no, they, they used, like, very natural-looking, which you might expect to see in a place like this, you know. save real quick because I actually made it through part of the accident last night and see I like this this is beautiful look at that 
semi-translucent uh, geometry here to look like cast light. This is really cool. Uh, there's not much like this in the original Half-Life, although there is some. Uh, yeah, just look, it's really beautiful and very different looking. It feels a little bit more like something like Area 51 than the Black Mesa ended up feeling. Although I don't think it's necessarily supposed to be Area 51. I think it's meant to be more like Los Alamos or Sandia, because those are research labs in New Mexico. Got a Modelo here. Modelo Especial. Yeah, especially growing up in the Southwest, I just feel like, especially some of the outside parts, some of the sort of harsh lighting of the desert and everything looks sun-baked and it's very like, you know, lots of beige on every, even the asphalt looks a little bit beige just because it's so sun-baked and covered with bits of like dust and stuff, so. That's another thing I've always loved about Half-Life. It just, it has always felt like they understood their setting very well which sort of bugged me in the no clip documentary i understand if you look at the canyons when you're in that one place someone from britain might think that sedona looks very deserty and stuff now sedona for us arizonans is is mountainous alpine mountain it's not desert really um so going to sedona was kind of silly I think to be like, yeah, I want to be in a place that's like, no, if you wanted to be in a place like, like that's like Black Mesa, try White Sands, New Mexico, or anywhere in Southern Arizona, you know, like around the Tucson area, between Tucson and Phoenix and stuff like that. That kind of low desert was, I think, a lot more what they were going for here. So, anyways, I'll shut up and we can move on. Does this guy have lips? Look at this guy. He looks like his face is melting. But he's got this weird Elvis haircut. They just all look worried. I have a dog that looks worried all the time. He looks like these two. Or she, I mean. It's like these two. And this guy just looks like, I don't know. Look at him. He has no lips. Okay. Oh yeah, this dynamic flashlight thing was pretty cool back in the day. Half-Life first came out. This this is some pretty good lighting in here. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't look like you're just in something that's green. It looks like something that's lit by green lights. Like something with, I don't know, the color of that and then lit by green. So again, once again, really good lighting. Interesting choices for lighting in, in Half-Life. I love these sort of amber lights too. These yellow amber lights they have. So. But the facilities you can see is a lot more bare bones. It doesn't really look as much like a real research facility. I see the test chamber's a little uh, lackluster. Also, it's supposed to be morning. Like this is everyone's like good morning, good morning, and look. So I don't know if that's like opened into you know the void, some sort of dimensional void into space or something, or if it's just supposed to be nighttime outside right now. The test chamber is a little bit, yeah, more bare bones. Remember, the, the most contemporary game to this game was something like uh, Quake 1 or Quake 2, you know, so this was still fairly detailed in going for a sense of realism by comparison. Oh yeah, sorry. Safety first. Save again. Yeah, save often, because there's no auto saves in this uh, build. Even though I believe the original Half Life had auto saves, I haven't played the vanilla build in a long time. Looks like most of their tech was done at this point because it looks like in terms of graphical fidelity like Half-Life 
but it uh, just I think some of the art direction wasn't quite there yet. Also, the experiment is much different, as you can see. Actually, the experiment, rather than testing a sample with an anti-mass spectrometer, uh, we are, I, make, I think they're just making a teleportation portal and they want me to jump into it. Also, I like how I'm supposed to be testing, same thing in the original Half-Life, I'm supposed to be like doing some sort of dangerous test that I need a hazardous environment suit. And then we give me 15% charge to do it. All right, let's do it. It's nice and creepy. God bless those old school Half-Life scientist voice actors. I think they actually did a pretty good job. Okay, I just lost my suit. Well, charge. Again, the uh, level names are different. I don't. I'm gonna have to do some more research on what's going on here. If this, if this was an actual build of the game at some point. And these modders were like, we wanna, we want it to be as faithful as possible. Uh, I remember to stay away from that guy after last night. Yeah, see, I was down to like five health after that. Get your gun pretty quickly. I've I've always loved spinny elevator. Yeah, Half-Life is a little bit more gore here. Yeah, Half-Life is definitely a big deal for me as a game. You can see that guy already getting eat up by a zombie. Oh, hell. So I think I died here because I missed climbing the ladder. Oh, this is, uh, that's obnoxious. I am so glad they got rid of this in the final build. Oh, there's that auto aim. Old and look at this old school crosshair. That's very quake. Oh yeah, only seven rounds. One thing I always liked is the font they use in Half Life, especially this one at the bottom of the screen for the ammo counter. Always loved that font. Here we go, more ammo. I guess the predator's been here. Guy got his spine ripped out. Oh, jeez. Gotta conserve ammo. Kind of want to kill that thing. There we go. I'm gonna go back in the locker, see if. What's going on here. So, I'm, I'm curious. Are we supposed to believe that he got pulled in there by something, or that he just decided to ram- Oh, there's a face hugger next to him. Okay. I was like, did he just ram his face into the vending machine? There's my contribution to the destruction. Alright, let's uh, save again. Yeah, I know I'm save scamming, but like I said, there's no checkpoints. I don't know if that's supposed to be something. Buddy. Oh, they back up now too. They don't. They didn't, I don't think they did that in the vanilla version. Still only got eight rounds. And no crowbar. You know, this really kind of highlights that. There we go. Yes. All right. What the hell is all of that stuff? Yeah, 
look at that. Probably should have saved that. So we can get in here now. No, that seems pretty solid. That's the solid sound. Solid half-life sound. I think there I can get in through the vent over here. Still? I don't know if that's yeah. Hey. Yeah. Damn it. You got me. I see you in there. I see you over there hiding behind the spool. Aqua Teen reference. So, uh, you know, Big big Granny. Big Granny House uh, 2. Oh, maybe it's the sequel. Carl is uh, my spirit animal. See, it makes more sense to put the health in front of him, like he's crawling towards the health, rather than it just being arbitrarily over here. Okay. Okay, just open. Let me through. There we go. Blimey. I think this was the most intense thing I'd ever experienced. Damn. It was not quick enough on the draw. I remember this thing, all of this terrified the shit out of me when I first played it. Oh yeah, you have to get antidotes in case you get poisoned. I have no idea how to use them. So they really went back and put all the missing stuff into the game. That's pretty cool. Right. I used to call those smokers because it sounds like they're saying smoke like smoke. Smoke. I don't normally play with auto aim on, I just uh, didn't turn it off and uh, I don't really care right now. Did that kill you all? Better because I'm almost out of ammo here. I'll wait for this guy. I remember that. Yes, I do want in there. Let's see if they have this AI just as just as broken as launch. We'll see. Do the thing. So I guess I'm bleeding now. This is kind of cool. All right, so. Okay, look at that. That's kind of interesting. See that? Um, I, you know, here's the thing. I always assumed that uh, Half-Life had some inspiration from uh, Immersive Sims, and that that's a little more like System Shock, you know what I mean? Something like that. It's a lot more like System Shock than it is like uh, 
you know, final build of Half-Life. So that's kind of interesting. You know, you can get poisoned, you can have bleeding damage. It's a little bit more, uh, yeah, like immersive sim or role-playing than it is uh, just a straight-up shooter like this. So that's kind of cool. It's a shame they uh, left some of that out. Because I think it's pretty cool. Oh, you don't have to go through the swimming puzzle anymore. Ammo conservationist. Oh, look at that, they can sort of run. I don't think they ever used to do that. I think that's also why she says minor laceration detected, because it was supposed to be like... very good at this as you can tell. We're close to the bottom yet. jump pretty high, look at him. I don't think I've ever had to evade him that high before. Some interesting AI behavior I don't think I've seen before in Half-Life. the head crabs take 9,000 hits to take out. Now, am I expected to f swim through? I don't think so. What the? Oh, I thought you were dead, sorry. Okie dokie. Alright, so we got all that stuff. We're gonna go over here, use the health kit again. How many of them are there? I don't think they stopped coming. That's. They sh yeah, that should be it. I don't know what's going on here. Whoop, there's another one! Thank god I'm not using the pistol anymore. This is radically different. I do like the lighting up here. That's pretty cool. Can't get in there anymore. Whoa. Forgot about this guy. Okie dokie. Okay. Yeah, this is much different. Look at this. This is this is kind of cool. It's like playing it for the... It's almost like playing it for the first time all over again. Not quite. Did you really... Oh my god. This guy is... Uh, he's got determination on him. He's got mucho determination. I'll give him that. Alright, I'm going to save again real quick and go down here and see what's what. That was not a good idea. Well, that's why we save, right?
Yeah, I think this was meant to feel a little bit more like System Shock, to be honest, back in the day. It definitely feels like it, you know? Oh yeah, these. These are supposed to be in the game. That's awesome. Okay, 99 health, that's not bad. I got 99 health. And... That can't finish it, I don't know. I got 99 health, and this game is fun. Ooh, I wanted this one. I've always loved this hallway. It's so weird looking. Man, what is going This is more labyrinthian, too. It's not as linear. Yeah, look at this. I can explore, I think, down there, too. It looks like there might be some stuff. Yeah, this is, once again, a lot more like System Shock. Uh, which I always felt, like I said, I always felt that Half-Life was heavily influenced by System Shock. Like how it says fragile. That didn't feel very fragile. That's a cool little area. Look at that. Very cool looking. Wow, look at all this. Ooh, that's cool. Look at this. This is... What the hell is this now? Oh, here's the crate room. That's the jumping puzzle in the OG one. And oh, what the hell is that? Holy shit. Okay, that was a little insane. Alright. I think there might be some sort of jumping puzzle here. I don't know if I need whatever's up there. I'm pretty sure I don't, but... Damn. Where 
these are unbreakable because it's like a puzzle. That is something else. I have no idea. What? Here's the thing. I don't know what's supposed to be up there. It doesn't look like there's anything up there, so I don't know why you would do this. Definitely an interesting alien, and uh, pretty dangerous too, I gotta say. I should have used the little frog thingy. But Half-Life has never been a game that's very good about letting you recover from your fuck-ups. That's kind of the charm. Uh, you're supposed to run into stuff and get, you know, kind of wrecked and then have to, like, limp over to a healing station and see what you can do to get by. I have no idea what this is for. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's pretty well explored. Hmm, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? I have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there. There's no way to get up there.
Hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, I have no clue, so we're going to try this. Can't get over there. Can't get over there. And I didn't come out here. Okay. Whoa. Stay away from that. Well, I honestly have no idea now. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with that jumping puzzle, but uh, I d it doesn't seem like I can get up from that puzzle. And also, how many more of these damn things are there going to be? Okay. I do sort of like the red suit. It's kind of neat.
Oh, I see. Alright, we're going to try this. Alright, we're going to see what we can see over here. this again I'm just curious now probably gonna wrap up this let's play after I do this puzzle but I am just curious now of course <laughs> good old half-life physics the hell was that did I just I think I just brought myself back so I think it's gonna go like this that was totally wrong Ugh, this is awful. We're going to do the other way around now. Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's infuriating. I'm not doing that right now. Um... Yeah, I think I remember the Valve developers even talking about this and saying this is horseshit. Okay. Just a second, let me look up what no clip is, because I'm not doing the fucking jumping puzzle. But, uh. This is just for me to check out the game. Also, yeah, I do remember an interview with a Valve employee, and they were like, yeah, the box room puzzle used to be awful. Uh. Let's try it again. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so the old school cheats don't work. Well, guys, uh, I was going to keep this video relatively short. Anyways, I'll be coming back later to try and figure this puzzle out, or I may just get past it, or see if I can no-clip it or something. The old-school Half-Life cheats don't seem to be working. Um, let me try... And uh, yeah, I just don't feel like doing this right now. So that'll be the end of the uh, Let's Play right now. But this is just you know kind of the first look at Half-Life Absolute Zero. I think it's a pretty awesome mod to myself. You know, I'm definitely going to try and play through the majority of it. And before I go here, I want to play with these little guys. So let's see what they do. Do they attack you? No, they don't. Which is cool. Curious what they do. Okay, they just turn into goo. I'm su I'm sure they do something interesting. But um, all right, that'll be it for today, guys.